the tube, the network's in the grip of a heat wave. Right, Richard, I'm on my way to you. Option, get the ambulance, please. I think, personally, you are just telling a pack of lies. Yeah, Darren's on the lookout for fair evasion. And Simon's got a persistent busker. I think he wants to be famous for it. They really can't stand this brief. It's going to be a hot one today with temperatures in the capital around a massive 93 degrees. News and Sport in 5 right after this. It's the hottest day of the year in the capital and the staff at London Underground are struggling through an August heat wave. The station supervisor at London Bridge, Brian Valentine, faces his first crisis of the day. Right, Richard, I'm on my way to you. Option, get the ambulance, please. With one train being held on the platform and another stuck behind it, Brian needs to get the service on the move again. Hello, I'm receiving. You're going to Duke Street Hill to meet the ambulance. Right, we've got a lady that had a seizure by the sounds of it on this train, so... Is this her stuff? Is this her belongings? You okay to stand up, do you think? Yeah. Leave them us. Right. Come on in, mate. We'll get you upstairs and get you some water. No, you're coming with us, mate. You're not well. You take her bag, Rich. Right, come on, mate. No, you're, you're sweating hot, mate. I'm going to take you upstairs and get you some air and some cold water, okay? All right. It's so hot on there. Yes. Yeah, that's OK, matey. We've got everything for you. Right, the colour's coming back oh, yeah. to your cheeks. See, now you've stood up, you're getting the blood back to your head. Yeah, supervisor at the watch room. Yeah, cancel that ambulance for me, please. OK. Nice breeze, isn't it? Temperatures on the tube average 10 degrees higher than outside. In the height of summer, it's not uncommon for passengers to suffer heat exhaustion on the crowded trains. I was feeling hot, but I was feeling all right, and I was trying to fan myself. And then it got to the point where I was starting to lose vision, and I thought, I'm going to collapse in a minute, so I'll get off at the next, the next tube, but some, uh, the next stop. But someone moved, so I thought, well, I'll sit down, that'll probably help. And obviously someone had seen me, and I'd obviously just kind of fallen into the seat, and I was just sitting there. It's just so hot on there. Why don't you let me phone your company and tell them what's happened? I kind of just feel a bit bad that I'm going to miss Why? a whole day's work for just being hot. Who said you was hot? Well, I must have we was been. All, we was all hot, but we haven't all passed out, have we? No. Hello, good morning. My name's Brian Valentine. I'm a station supervisor at London Bridge Underground. I've got your Gemma Bowen with me. She's passed out on a train. So my advice to her is that she goes home and sees her GP. All right? Uh, I shall make sure she does. Don't worry about that. OK, then. All right, then. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Um, all right. Um, who have I got that I can send with you? How about I send a woman, eh? All right. Jackie Zawedi, speak to me. Hello, Right, come to my office, please. Uh, Make it a bit snappy, mate. The knock-on effect of that train being there, mate, I don't know, one and a half, two minutes. You've got trains in the tunnel behind. You were down on that platform. You know how warm it is. Multiply that by the tunnel and the heat coming up from the motors under those trains. And those people in the tunnels behind suffer. Um, we took a lot of flack over getting people off of trains. Um, again, we were talking about looking at the bigger picture. It doesn't only concern this young lady. It concerns hundreds and hundreds of people stuck in the tunnel behind. So it was essential that I did move her. And I deemed it that she was fit enough to be moved. Had she not been fit enough to be moved, she would have stayed where she was. But, right, Jackie, yes. come in, mate. Okay. I see a young lady that passed out. Okay. What I want you to do is go home with her. She lives at Clapham. 
Okay, that's And I'll lovely. see you when you get back. Oh, you can give me a ring from Clem himself, all right? All right. Cheers. All right, you okay, mate? Yeah, thank all right. you so much. All right, there you go. Cheers. Hello. Thanks. Bye-bye. I have to deal with all sorts. I think if you err on the side of caution, you won't go far wrong. <sighs> High temperatures in the summer are a constant headache for London Underground, but it's not an easy problem to solve. People often ask me why there is no air conditioning on the underground. It's an old system, and to install stuff onto the old lines will cost an awful lot of money, and is there the room to put it in anyway? In many cases, there isn't. When Ken Leveson gets in, he's going to give us an awful lot more money and he's going to give us some more air condition. I don't think. London Underground loses over half a million pounds a week in fare evasion, 80% from the under 30s. There's a pop concert in Hyde Park today, and a team of London Underground inspectors are checking tickets Hello. at the nearest station, Hyde Park Corner. Ex-bookie Darren Smith has been a revenue inspector for three years. As we speak, no doubt my two little ones are splashing around now in a pool in the back garden while I'm going to be sweating my balls off at Hyde Park Corner in heats of around 90 degrees with a hat on. Cool. Honestly, mate, just to prove, right, that I ain't being awkward. Look, I mean, seriously. Can you actually try and put it on, Darren? No, you are really. <laughs> I swear to God, mate, the thing no, doesn't no, come no. on. Yeah. Look. Stop, stop it. Turn around. The top. See, and I'm spinning out, mate. I'll tell you, it cuts off the circulation. Yeah, but you can hold it like everybody else. You don't have to push it down so tight to start with. You can hold it. On your head, if you're having right. to deal with it in a third base. Nice, that's okay. sweet. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. The hat distinguishes staff between each other, and people, customers obviously know then who they've spoken to if there's an issue that arises. Sorry, sir, can you just show me a ticket? Darren's colleague, yeah. Debbie Souton, is on the lookout for fair evasion. Darren's just stopped a gentleman who has a gold card which isn't his. Uh, he's, he's now establishing the facts of whether whose ticket it is, and uh, he's requiring their details. Whose is it? It's, uh, his name is Ali. It's, it's a, a friend. It's a friend, yeah. Gold card. It's a season ticket. Um, what did it, it lasts for? Twelve months. Um, it's actually coloured gold, so it's quite distinguishable. And uh, it's a high value ticket. It can cost from, say, a couple of hundred pounds to over a thousand pounds. You can be prosecuted. You are using a ticket which does not belong to you. Yeah, I, okay. I use it by a mistake. The guy does not okay. give it to me. We'll, to use we'll, it. we'll get to that, okay. okay. Why I want to find out now is why he's using that ticket knowing it doesn't belong to him. Uh, he's then committed an offence, uh, an irregularity, fraud on London Underground. So he'll give you a ticket to look after because he forgot the keys to his locker, yeah? Yeah. No, sorry. I'm, not, I'm not afraid of being to court, but I'm no. not going to lie to you. Hey, I'll listen. tell you the Hey, honest you're truth. being cool. You're being cool. Yeah. All right. But you you've got to appreciate, truth. right, now, from my point of view, right, OK, your mate has turned around and she's gone, oh, my God, I forgot the keys to my locker. Tell you what, take yeah, the gold take card and yeah. look after it, yes. OK? And you looked after it to such a degree yeah, that you thought you'd yeah, use yeah. it. Look, You've I've, used this ticket now so, that you had your car names, yeah, and you could have used them, but you also had this gold card. And you felt, well, why would I use my gold card? Why would I use my car name tickets when I have a gold well, card to use? Yeah, OK, but it's not for me to presume, OK? What it would be for is a court to presume. It's OK, it's okay. Cost, yeah. So you won't be returning this ticket to the owner? I will. No, I will be. No, no, I uh, can get the order no. for you to return it I will, to you now. No, we will be contacting the person. No, I didn't steal the ticket. I'm not saying you stole the ticket. No, I'll be honest to you. If I, if I, if I have to use it... Well, do you know, frankly, I think, personally, you are just telling a pack of lies. Yeah, you could, you could think I'm telling a lie. Yeah. You understand?
The ticket inspectors are running an exercise at Hyde Park Corner and they've just caught a man they suspect is using someone else's travel card. I asked him if the gold card was his. Uh, he looked at the gold card in disbelief and went, oh no, I've made a mistake, it's not mine, it's my friend's. I'm looking after it for him. Persistent fare dodgers can expect fines of up to £1,000 or even a short spell in jail. Just try to blag his way out of it. And he will have to explain to a magistrate exactly what's written in my notebook. In the past six months, of the two and a half thousand passengers accused of fare evasion, over 2,000 have been convicted and fined. At Victoria, one of the busiest stations on the network, staff are doing what they can to keep cool. No one wants to be in the station, except the buskers. Just check your ticket hall and make sure we have the hot weather posters displaced, please. Station assistant Steve Bennett and his boss Simon White are halfway through their shift. According to London Underground regulations, staff can take off their hats and wear summer shirts, but only once the temperature exceeds 77 degrees. When I leave home, I'm thinking, I look out the window when I get home, it's hot and it's sunny, I think, oh, thank God, so I don't have to wear the hat anymore. Because <laughs> when you see friends coming through here and you're wearing the hat, it's like, oh, God, how embarrassing. You just take it off, the first thing you do is take it off. Also, you've obviously seen <laughs> Some people need a shower after, they come, after they've been on a hot, sticky train. So, yeah, well, that, I don't suffer from that, personally. I don't suffer from that problem. Customer information. Busking and begging are illegal. Please do not encourage buskers or beggars and report their presence to our staff. Here's a busker there, Bob Marley. Well, we call him Bob Marley. He looks anything but... But there he is. He's actually in the way of the customers, as you can see, getting off the escalators. And uh, he can be very reluctant sometime to leave. However, hopefully when we go down there now, we are going to get rid of him. Just one second, please. Between barking, signal failure, player stuff. Our base to all staff, district line services are suspended in both directions between barking and Bromley by bow. We're just talking about air conditioning. This is my way out. Oh, God, yeah. Three lucky dips. <laughs> Everyone will win. What numbers this to the numbers? Oh, they're all just lucky. Oh, I should really, I should do it, I suppose. Yeah, but you wouldn't give up the job anyway, would you? No, it wouldn't no. change my life, no. 10 million. No, no. I wouldn't. I'd still, I'd still work here. Even, oh, I don't know, actually. If you don't mind, please. Yes, bro, Don't worry. Yeah, well, we'll start packing up now then, please. Yeah, okay. the people You think I'm stupid? Bob Marley is a regular thorn in Simon's side. We come later go when you walk He will be back. It's an absolute certainty. He will be back. So, you know, they can be consistent. They spend more time on the station than the staff does. <laughs> yeah, I love the real Bob Marley at my age. You know, that's my type of music, reggae. But this particular busker we have on the station don't do Bob Marley's music any justice. He's just a scruffy individual who can't sing and he can't play his guitar. Really, he should be taken away and shot, I think. But that's only my opinion. <laughs> The official bylaw on the underground regarding busking is that busking is not allowed anywhere. They're actually breaking a bylaw. Uh, three zero to base. Uh, zero message, three zero. Yeah, just to let you know, we're getting a bit crowded on the westbound platform because uh, there's a slight gap. So just to let you know what's going on. Customers on the westbound platform, please can you turn left and proceed all the way along the platform. There's loads of space at the leading end of the platform. Please walk along the platform and claim your seat in the front carriages. 
Have you noticed now? They're all going walking along there. All of them, in fact. So well, be careful because the whole brown one's going to end up down there in a minute. <laughs> oh dear. The busker that we moved a bit earlier on, the one we referred to as Bob Marley, he's back on his favourite pitch again. But, but, come back later again. Now, if you don't come back, I won't have to come back for you. Yes, sir. So all you got to do is to stay away. No, 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 just stay away, please. Please yeah, give us a break. Yeah. Sorry, I'm there. Sorry. No, please, come on, later, man. Come on, later. You know my work. My work is not a stable job like yours, you know. And I'm just getting fed up of this fella. You know what, brother? You're gone, no? Don't let your work, you're gone. My work is not the real job. You think, I want you to come down here. You think that me want to be down there, brother, John? It can't be helped. It's something to you over the years. It can't be helped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go along. I think he wants to be famous for it. I really can't stand this brief. Well, let's go now. Well, why lose your rug, baby? If you lose it, you've lost everything. You gotta keep your cool in it. And this fellow, as I say, he's persistent. He's here every day. Hell, you need to employ him, actually. You know, I... Pardon? He's back? Yeah. Bob Marley? He's at four, five, and six, strumming away. Like, you know... Four, five, and six? Yeah, he's moved. Go on, young lady. It's a full-time job dealing with him. Well, you hear what he said? He's going to keep me busy all day. Now you understand. It's me that keep the crew busy today. Yeah. Me and brother Chalky. Me and brother Chalky keep the crew very busy today. You know, this fellow is a serious problem. You know. But what can you do? He takes all types, I suppose. But I don't know why you got to be dealing with this fellow all my life. I've been begging him to be more lenient. London Underground is planning to offer licenses to some of the more talented buskers on the tube. They're not sure if Bob Marley will be one of them. LU management are currently considering a number of stations where official buskers will be permitted. Hyde Park could be one. Chill out, man. I'll sort you out one. I'll sort you out one. Check, just check your pockets. Seriously, and that concert's running late anyway. Are you going to the concert? Well, yeah, sort of. Okay. No, but you see, I lost one that was supposed to be expired on Sunday. I lost it today. And then I bought a new one this morning, and I've just lost it again. Hey, doesn't that tell you something? I'll tell you what, mate, I'll let you out, well, yeah. But no, but what about uh, but just, just have a good look. I'm sure it's somewhere. If you're in a rush to the concert, all right, I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that as proof for now, but it won't on the way back, all right? So have a good look, all right, and I'll let you out, yeah? yeah thanks, so man. just come around here, all right? Alright, got him. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Unless he's up for all sorts of Academy Awards, he looked pretty genuine to me, all right? He searched everywhere. He had a receipt, you know, for the ticket he had brought. Uh, apparently he'd lost two in a week, so, you know, that tells you something about the guy. And, you know, I thought, well, you know, he's got proof of receipt, so I just let him out. So, but unfortunately, you can't use that to travel as a rule, so just for now. I need to take these two tickets just to make some investigation. Ticket Inspector Debbie Souten has come across a passenger with a special pass for relatives of bus drivers. Have you paid your cousin for this ticket? His yeah. company gives him this ticket for nothing. So if, if you've had to pay your cousin for this ticket, yeah. then you need to tell me. Have you paid money for this ticket? No, I didn't pay to him. Who did you pay the money to? Nobody. So why did you come out here through yeah. the gates and, uh, and say to me that you yeah, paid yeah. a lot of money for this ticket? From what I gather, 
All he's got is a, is a bus nominee pass, which means that he's got a relative who works on the buses. You don't pay money for those tickets. Okay. I'm not a police officer, all right? You're not under arrest. Yeah, sorry for being... Do you, under no, listen, yeah. do you understand the caution that I've just said to you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Good. The body language with this guy is so negative. Just with his body language, he's now suggesting that he's guilty. He is guilty. I was a little bit um, concerned because he stated that he paid a lot of money for that ticket. And those tickets you don't pay for, they're actually given to uh, bus drivers to hand to their dependents. We need to make some inquiries with regards to who he's paying the money to. If it turns out that it is the, actually the bus driver he's paying the money to, well then we'll, we'll take action against the bus driver. I can light no more of your darkness. <laughs> All my pictures seem to paint to black and white. Boom, ba da da doom. Time to go home, see the other halves. I'd say relax, but you ain't seen my missus. <laughs> <gasps> That's nasty. I have seen your missus, actually. <laughs> Over the past six months, nearly 18,000 cases of irregular travel have been discovered by London Underground's ticket inspectors. It's me again. How you doing? I got my ticket this time. I'll make sure that... Everything's all right. Have a good night.